even if the RTV on the outside looks nice and pliable, the inside is super brittle. Here's the manifold. I just washed it off. Stuck it in the sink and all. You just kind of want to look around for black spots that don't look scuffed like right here. Right there won't adhere. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff that part and uh, look for any other spots like that. Do the best you can. Um, make sure it's all scuffed up looking and that's how you know you'll have a good adhesion right here could probably use a little more and Then right up against this edge all always in the cracks. It's hard to get but do do your best like I said Yeah Then I'm on to this guy, so I, I finally got the front cover off here you can see that this stud was stuck in on this front cover and didn't want to come out so it actually popped out of its hole um, and stuck with the front cover which is fine and I'm not gonna mess with it but it's just a dowel pin factory RTV because there's so f little of it that it's pretty easy to get off then you still got chunkies that are brittle that just kinda pop out the outside of it's still like I was saying, it's really malleable on the outside. It's not dried out at all, really nice. But everything on the inside, it cracks. So, that's why I'm doing this. And it's good to see in here, everything looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my water pump with my new one. I'm gonna have it off anyway, and so I'll be able to do that and then replace all the seals in it. But. Yeah, it's all looking really, really clean, really nice. It's just going to be a lot of work to get all the old RTV off. You can see the chunkies all the way around the edges. All coming together. Looking nice. Getting clean. Getting painted. Doing it right the first time. So here is the finished manifold. I've got greasy hands so I'm not going to touch it, but you can see the shine on it. it. Looks super good. There's a little bit of orange peel, but you know, it's going to be under the engine most of the time and it's really going to pop when you open up the hood. So that's what I was looking for. I'm happy with it. Going to be sweet. I think it's cool. Looks good. My wife's happy with it. Sweet. Now I'm just uh, over here. I tried using RTV Dissolver, RTV Dissolver by Permatex. This stuff does not dissolve RTV. I come up here and it doesn't even like make it soft or anything. There's the front of the engine. I got all of it cleaned up. The RTV is off of all of it. Uh, the hard part that I had with this one is right here. That little guy gets filled up with RTV and it's too small to fit a normal razor blade in there and so I uh, busted off a piece and used that used that to scrape it all off there it is there's my thermostat this is the OEM thermostat it's Japanese I like it I'm gonna go ahead and boil it and see if it opens up just fine um, and then I'll probably just replace 
well, maybe. The gasket on it seems pretty malleable still. But I might go ahead and replace the gasket anyway. Just so that I can say I did it. Here is my awesome JDM water pump. And uh, it still feels pretty good. It's not nearly as uh, wobbly as the old one that I took out of the original engine. Um, it has a new one in it, but I think the new one is almost this good. I'm going to have to compare it, but I figure I might keep this one in it and just replace these O-rings. Because the O-rings are squished. They're flat. And so, and kind of not rubbery anymore. But this has really like zero shaft play in it and it's like it doesn't just spin it stops like my new one does but yeah it's all it's coming together you know I'm, I'm just going really slow so that i don't get burned out and uh taking time off from scraping our tv doing some other things so that i gotta clean that up oh, oh man i got out my chew now i'm gonna be tracking oil anyway um but yeah, doing some other things so that I'm not just scraping RTV the whole live long day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that looks awesome. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Oh, that's what I was doing. So I got bored scraping RTV and so I pulled off my cool JDM Drive Joy oil filter. I'm dumping oil everywhere. The oil actually doesn't look too bad either which is good, so I might not uh, do uh, what I was thinking of doing and running like an uh, like de engine detergent in it. Um, I might just go ahead and do the oil, and then when I change the oil later on, I'll go ahead and put in a, a seafoam or some other detergent in the crankcase and let it idle before I change the oil next time. I went ahead and ordered a new uh, oil cooler gasket. It's just a big fatty o-ring. I ordered it already so I figured I'd install it. Um, I just need to go find a socket that is big enough for that guy right there. That's a deep socket. It looks like it's like a 21. Maybe it's just 9. No, it's bigger than 19. That's like a 21. Oh, there we go. So I gotta find like a 21 deep socket but I don't have any metric ones here. So I gotta go find like a 3 quarter inch deep socket or something to fit on that and pull the oil cooler off so I can replace that big fat gasket. And then, once I've done that, all of the gaskets will be replaced and I'll be good to go for another 100,000 miles or 10 years or whatever. Anyway, it's coming together and uh, it's working out. So here's all my old O-rings. They're, they're not completely hard. Um, they're still relatively pliable, except for this one, this big one here. That one, I had it over here. Yeah, there it is. That one cracked on me, like literally cracked in half. And you can't see Jack because of it, but I don't care if it's in focus or not. You can tell that that is not a round circle anymore. <laughs> that one. So, um, I mean, the other ones, they're all flat. This one's actually in pretty good shape. You can't see it, but it's in pretty good shape. The rest of them, this one is like cracking. You can see the cracking on the outside. This one's cracking. It's still kind of rubbery, like it squishes how it's supposed to. And, and then when you let go, it springs back pretty good. It's still circle, circular. So that one's in pretty good shape. A couple of the other ones are in pretty good shape. But overall, I'm glad I'm doing it, especially because of this one. This one would have given me a pretty good oil leak. And so I think that is worth, that by itself is worth uh, taking it all apart to replace just that one. Plus, I have parts that I've ordered, and it would be nice to go ahead and throw them all on since I've already bought them, like my Felpro water pump rear gasket. Um, the OEM one is actually in pretty good condition still. Way better quality than uh, than the one I bought from, uh, I think it was a Beck Arnelli? Arnley? I don't know. This one's in super good condition. Really tough stuff. And that other one was garbage. My Felpro one is a lot more like this. It might even be better quality than this. So, 
happy about that. Um, the things I need to order, I need to order, regardless, I think I need to order a new thermostat rubber gasket. Um, and yeah, then I just need to put it all back together because it's good to go. <clears throat> So, <laughs> I kind of messed up. Um, not in a bad way, uh, <laughs> just kind of in a crappy way for my channel. Um, for you guys. <laughs> so, uh, I was trying, I was getting prepped, ready for my uh, Suey Smackdown live stream. And uh, so I, I figured I'm. I'm gonna make this a shorter one, just like a five minute episode of like a fight uh, between me and the, the engine. And so to do that, I went ahead and set up the crane. And I also went ahead and set up my chain to make sure that it would hold it and that the mounting points I was using were gonna work out. Um, however, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I kind of, uh, pulled the engine already, <laughs> which I was planning on doing in a live stream, um, here in, in another, like, 15 minutes. Um, I don't know what time it is right now, but it's, oh man, it's 4.49, so I'm supposed to live stream and <laughs> get this thing out in... 11 minutes <laughs> and uh, so this might be a lot easier than <laughs> than I figured I didn't realize this engine was wanting to get out of this car um, I jacked it up twice the first time it's because the jack is a freaking goofball I'll show you okay so if I jack it up these these pins right here they're supposed to be a pin like that one through right there and there's not because the holes don't line up so I said nah whatever yeah so this jack um, without that pin there I didn't think it would be that big of an issue but when you start jacking it up whoop, this thing does a bit of a stanky leg on me Opa. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, it, it did that a couple times, twice, and it totally, just by doing that, rocked the engine out of the cradle and even rocked those studs out, which are usually the hard part to get out. So... The engine's already out, so this live stream, I think, is going to be a bust. <laughs> kind of funny, a really sketchy um, crane that I'm borrowing, and it's freaking monstrous. It's a 3,000 pound, and honestly, I don't really see much more use than a 1,000 pound or a 1,500 pound crane. This one's just monstrous, and it's too big for me. It's too hard to move around by yourself. and. Yeah, it weighs like 200 pounds. So, anyway, um, yeah, I gotta get my live stream going. It's uh, probably five minutes till, and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this, because this might be a uh, ridiculous uh, five minute live stream, which I was planning on it being pretty quick, like five minutes, but this might just turn into a uh, jack it up, and I win. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on.